Bololo MP Sam Basil describes a bottom-up approach to restrict the movement of people going to Bololo if the killer virus hits PNG. It's a drastic measure that will involve LLG health workers thought out to keep the Ebola virus from entering remote parts of Bololo. This may be enough to save communities separated by fast-flowing rivers and mountains. As for myself in Bololo, I will um, call some health experts very soon and we will come up and devise our own uh, shutdown um, uh, 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 program if should and when Ebola virus comes into Papua New Guinea. Basile explained that the real concern for the government and health officials is the virus spreading through Port Mosby, Ley and other centers because hospitals already struggling with day-to-day -day function won't have the capacity to deal with the containment and treatment of the killer virus. If Ebola reaches our shore, it will have a severe effect on the country's economy because the Port Mosby General Hospital may not have the capacity to contain the spread. An expensive isolated treatment facility outside of Port Mosby must be budgeted for by the government. Uh, it's very dangerous also to the health workers. Uh, they will be exposed. So proper gears are needed, proper advice and training should start now from, for the health workers that will be useful to contain the situation. We are all concerned, I am concerned as a, as a parliamentarian. I want the health minister and the, uh, and the um, um, prime minister to come out clear on this. It's not a political issue that we will throw mud at each other. The deputy opposition leader's call comes as the Australian prime minister, Tony Abbott, on his way to Indonesia stopped in Port Mosby to raise concerns about the spread of Ebola to Papua New Guinea. The Australian Prime Minister discussed contingency plans with Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. It's understood that the Australian government is putting together a rapid response team to deal with any outbreaks in the region. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Ley.